Recently, the EPA said a three year initiative will regulate and restrict the use of what are known as forever chemicals. As scientists continue to look at the effects of potential chemicals could have on people, some are wondering if it will impact the effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccine. Wake Up Show's Megan Bragg verifies. The Biden administration is making moves to restrict the use of forever chemicals known as PFAs. They pose a significant risk because they never break down and remain present in the human body. People usually ingest the chemical after it leaks into the ground when it's released into the air or by using everyday items. We're talking things like nonstick cookware, paints, makeup, pizza boxes, dental floss, some food, and even water. This now has some people wondering, do PFAs stop the COVID-19 vaccine from working? Let's verify. Our sources, physician Dr. Carla Robinson, cardiologist Dr. Pyle Coley, the EPA and the CDC. When did this come up? Like, when were people like, hmm, PFAs, like, let's study this. It's a relatively recent phenomenon as we're learning about things. Despite being around since the 1940s, the CDC didn't start measuring PFAs in people until 1999. They found PFAs in nearly all people tested. So how much of this do we need in our bodies to have it affect the vaccine? This is a million dollar question. From animal studies, it tells us it needs to be pretty high doses, but we're not entirely sure how that translates into humans. We're still trying to determine, you know, what that toxic level is. And uh, but the research right now is encouraging in the sense that um, we're finding that it's much, much, much higher levels of exposure where we're seeing these effects. One application of lipstick or, you know, using a nonstick pan to cook breakfast is is not likely um, to um, cause effects. According to the EPA, current peer-reviewed scientific studies have shown that exposure to certain levels of PFAs may lead to certain adverse health effects, including reduced ability of the body's immune system to fight infection, including reduced vaccine response. People do hear this, oh my gosh, it could affect vaccine response. Um, they might be like, well, see, I don't need to get the vaccine, but what, what do you suggest? PFAs can actually increase your, your risk of infection and the way that your body responds to infection. So if anything, being exposed to PFAs may actually make you higher risk for infection from COVID-19. But Dr. Coley says because basically everyone has PFAs already in their body, it's a sign that they are not stopping the vaccine from working. The reassuring thing here is that the clinical trials on the vaccine's effectiveness were done here in the United States amongst a variety of Americans who likely had PFA in their blood and they still mounted good antibody responses and they still had good clinical protection. So we can verify that no, PFAs do not stop the COVID-19 vaccine from working. However, studies are still being conducted to see how much PFA exposure can lead to health effects. Now, doctors say make sure to look at the ingredients in your products to see if they have PFAs. We have some tools to help you do that on our website, WCNC.com. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg.